hi guys welcome to my channel today i'm going to show you how i decorated our master bedroom for fall just by including those little uh, colors and pops of fall into our room so please keep watching <laughs> For our bed for fall, I just wanted to keep it very neutral and just use light color bedding just to make things very cozy. I always love to make it neutral whenever I can so that um, everything blends in and it's so pleasant for your eyes to see. So that's what I'm going to do for the bedding. I'll be using this um, white and gray tones for our bedding and then I'll be decorating the nightstands just next to them. I wanted to add some fall touches to the side tables by using some of the DIY projects that I did on my channel. You'll find a link to them in the description down below. This plump pumpkin flower arrangement I made using a pumpkin shape that is uh, that I got from the Dollarama. This pumpkin sign is also a DIY project that I did using a Dollar Tree items. Uh, so if you wanna click on the description down below you'll find the link to the DIY projects that I did so here instead I decided to switch to these uh, black pumpkins that I did as well for a DIY project I think um, the color mixture looks perfect there this gorgeous uh, vase or flower arrangement I did uh, using thrifted items as well as items from the Dollar Tree so I'll be uploading that video soon to my channel channel welcome I'm super happy that you found my channel I share many projects that I do around the house arranging from DIY projects trash to treasure thrifting and so many more and I upload new videos every week on my channel make sure you're subscribed to join the DIY resident and please hit the bell notification so you get notified whenever I upload a new video now moving on to the opposite side of my room which is just in uh, front of the bed to the wall uh, just at the other side of the the room I decided to change uh, or switch up fireplaces the fireplace that I moved um, was a thrift uh, flip as well it was a brown uh, outdated fireplace that I painted in white and I think it was super gorgeous and I used it for almost two years but now I'll be replacing it with a different uh, fireplace I wanted to change the fireplace just because this one had more space for uh, storage and I wanted to have an area where I could just put like uh, pillow covers or even bed sheets but in a beautiful um, storage uh, bin and this, would, uh, this was the perfect place for me to do that. So moving on to the storage bins that I was saying, I got these uh, wicker storage from IKEA and as you can see I have some throw blankets in there and I'll be placing uh, some pillow sheet covers in the other one and I'll be placing one on the opposite side as well. A few months back I found this gorgeous uh, chair as well as uh, the double seat and I transformed it uh, and I spray painted it in white and after I painted in white I wanted to recover uh, the fabric that was on top by using uh, a fabric that I had at home so I wanted to I wasn't sure which one to go uh, go with I have this buffalo check print in uh, black or gray and white I also have different fabrics that I was just laying on top just to see which one would fit and then I'll be picking the one that would uh, suit best the, de the rest of the decor. So I ended up choosing this um, vintage looking fabric that it's a, a very pale green with white polka dots on it. I really love this um, fabric so I'm going to cut the fabric to size and then using my uh, staple I'm, I'm going to staple it all around. And then once that's done, I'll be adding a burlap trim that I'll show you in a bit.
after I was done stapling I just took one of these uh, blades that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna uh, trim away all of the excess in areas that is hard to reach and then I'm gonna use my scissors for areas that, it, that are more accessible. Any areas that was difficult to reach with the staple gun I just used some hot glue and I glued that in, in place. And then I'm going to use one of the thicker jute twine that I got from the dollar store and I'm going to apply um, two or three rounds of a trim around the green fabric. This is actually such an easy uh, fix to do and I love uh, refinishing furniture and this piece was the perfect addition for my room and this is how it looks once everything was done. I really love the addition of the, uh, the jute twine. I think it looks super rustic and it ties in with the rest of my room and the farmhouse style that I wanted to go. this video and if you're enjoying the content that I'm sharing on my channel please hook me up by leaving this video a thumbs up it really helps my channel on the top of my fireplace I wanted to have a large wall art and I made this gorgeous piece uh, from a trashed treasure project So I'll be placing this um, lantern that I got last year from a local store here in Canada the two projects that I did that are trash to treasure for my bedroom. Uh, I'm going to upload a video of that soon on my channel so if you're not subscribed to my channel make sure you do so and hit the bell notification so you get notified when I upload that video. Now for the top of the fireplace I just placed a beautiful a beautiful garland that I got from Walmart. It was so inexpensive. It was uh, $3.98 and it was a big and full garland and I'm going to use that on the top of my fireplace. And then I'm also going to add some pumpkins that I also got from Walmart just to make this uh, more cozy and to tie in for fall. also wanted to make a cute little flower arrangement for this uh, for this fireplace so I'm gonna use this little stem that I also got from Walmart for $1.98 and I'm gonna use this little galvanized um, full galvanized little bucket that I got from the dollar store inside I filled it up with uh, some dollar store pebbles and I'm just gonna put some um, uh, greenery as well as that stem that I got from Walmart as well as a little pumpkin just to make that cute little flower arrangement. So again, it was super simple to tie in our master bedroom with the colors of fall without making it overwhelming or too busy. I just wanted to add little touches. I'm in love with this trash to treasure wall art or wall piece that I did. It's a big piece that is 4 feet by 2 feet big and very heavy and sturdy. I'm in love with how it looks on the top of our fireplace. and. So this is how our master bedroom looks for fall this year. I hope it gave you some inspirations to tackle your own space. Please leave my video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you around in my next video. Take care everyone. Bye bye.